Hello there everyone, this is Anton Duas here and today I'm going to be doing What if Issei was the King of Soul? So, this is going to be part 3. Maybe in a few days, be expecting another new What If or part 3 of Neglected, part 2 of Trunks and a new What If. That's all I'm going to be saying for now. So we're going to be starting out where Issei was with his father, Yu. Like I was saying, Issei's father and mother, it's Yu this, from the start of the end, the main character, and his mother is Shinoa, the daughter of the demon Moon Demon Company leader. So, I'm gonna say, in the anime, I don't really know if they are the people that they're gonna get shipped together, but uh, still. I'm going to be saying they got married and Issei was their son. And I'm going to be explaining how the East. And I'm going to be saying before I start, I'm going to be saying how Issei, why would, why would Issei be on the high school DXD world? The reason why Issei is in the high school DXD world would be because, would be because when Issei was born, it was still, there were still a lot of vampires and humans fighting. So when Issei 17 years passed, Everything went to a peaceful world. I don't really know if that's going to happen in the anime. But I'm going to be saying that everything went peaceful. There is no fighting. Humans became decided to become half vampires. But since they're half vampires. They still donate their blood to help vampires survive with them in, the, in an ordinary world. So everything went normal. So we're going to start out at where Issei's father, Yu. Was getting yelled at by Issei's mother, Shinoa. Then Issei asks Yu. Are you done fighting with this lady? Then you said. Then you said to Issei, "What do you mean, lady? This is your mother." In an in an laughable tone, as Issei looked at her, and was looking at her from up to bottom, and was confused and said, "She, my mother." Then sh when she knew what her, he, my son. And she started to recall of what happened 17 years. Nah, she just. You say 17. So there's. I'm going to make it uh, only. Yep. There are at least only 31. So in the other world. And this world, you say still 17 because he grew up in the other world 17 years old. So he just. You remember what happened 17 years ago. And she looked at Issei and looked at you. Looked at Issei and looked at you. And they both seem alike a lot. Looked at his hair color and looked at and looked at his hair color and looked at hers. It seems like her. So she put two and two together and bingo, that's his, that's her son. Uh, then she started to cry. Now she ran up to Issei and hugged him and said, and started to cry as you hugged her with Issei on her, uh, while she was hugging Issei as she hugged Issei. Too with her. Then Issei started to cry, saying, "So I wasn't all alone after all. I was just being protected." Then you said, "Yes, you were." So well, now that you're old enough and everything went back to normal, you won't have to leave again if you don't want to. But you can always go back to that world if you have to go back to school, or you can just stay here. And Issei just nodded at this. But guys, I'm, he's going to be going back to the high school DXD world. So there's two choices I'm going to be giving. In the comments, if you guys don't want him to come back to the high school DXD world, I can make him not come or he can. Because there's a lot of things that I can do since he can, since, since he can go to the Seraph of the End world and come back to the other world. So anyone in the comments who doesn't want him to come, I'll just think of some a way to make the series a bit more interesting since he's he might not come or he is. I'm just gonna leave it up to some up to people in the comments if they want him to come back or not. Oh, we're gonna continue. And Issei smiled at his mother and said, "Hi, mom. I'm Issei." And then she know what said, "I know you, little silly boy." As Issei smiled at her and just hugged her tight and said. I'm, I'm gonna ask one more time. Why do you guys just. Next time. If 
anything like this happens, don't ever find a way to tell me that I won't be alone again. And she know when you said we promise you won't be alone again. As a little girl came into the room where they where you was getting yelled at. The little girl was named Luna. So the name Luna I borrowed from my army king what if. Yeah. Then the then Luna came came in and came in to the door saying Papa and she went running towards you. Then you smiled at this and said, Hi, hi, come here. And she hugged as she hugged as she hugged you and said, Papa, who is this kid? Who is this boy? Then you said, This is your older brother. As you grab Grab Luna, put her, put her on his hand, put her, put her on his arms, and started to walk towards Ize. As Ize was a little bit shocked, as he said, "This is my little sister." Then, then you and Shenoa said, "Ize, meet your little sister, Luna." So to make an image, try to imagine Shenoa as a little girl. Imagine Shino wants a little girl, just with a mixture of black and pur purple, or the same color as Issei hair in, in this photo down here, in that photo, imagine that hair color. Then Issei smile at her, smile and say, hi Luna, I'm Issei, your older brother. Then Luna smile at Issei and say, oh their brother, and hug, and hug them. Then Issei, Hug their back and say, uh, I wish I would have met you guys more earlier. Then I wouldn't have to be living a life that hard in that other world. Then you and Shinoa heard this and were saddened because Shinoa, Shinoa was decided to go to the other world to give her, to give Issei the sword that belonged to his father. But And she stayed for a little while spying on him. And she saw what was happening during his life, but he didn't. But she didn't tell him about that because she didn't want him to be sad about it. Then, then he say, "Well, then he say said to his father, well, well, Dad, are we gonna go start training? Training and these abilities because if I go berserk, it's your fault again." As he said, "Ah, give me a minute. I have to eat." What then he say, "Eyes." started glowing a star on his and he said what are we eating then you said oh mm, i don't know yet then oh freak this then shinoa looked at both of them and said like father and son they both have the same appetite when they were about to leave shinoa said what do you guys want me to cook as he said well can i cook and remember, if I didn't say in the last episode that Issei can cook, since he lives alone, he learned how to cook. I don't know. He's a good chef. Not any good chef. Uh, a 10-star chef. Chef. If there was a, a limit over 5 stars, he'll go to the twin, to the high, highest limit of all the chefs. But he can easily get a job in a restaurant if he wanted it. But since he was in high school, nobody gave him a job. I never really seen high school DXZ characters get a job for normal things. Well, I might be wrong. So yeah. Issei asked, can I cook? Then Shinoa looked at him and said, you can cook? And then you said the same thing. Then Luna said, oh, their brother, cook. Then Issei laughed and said, okay, okay, I'll cook. When they reached home, Issei was shocked to see the house. As Issei just said, I'll be in the kitchen if you guys need me. me, me. As you and Shinoa were talking over some stuff of what they were going to do if Issei decided to come back to stay over there and that other world. But they didn't worry about that. They just worried about the time they could spend with Issei and this right now. As Issei yelled, I'm finished. And as they look at the time, it's only been 15 minutes. As they said, is this because of the training that Seraph that was born inside of Issei gave him? 
made him this fast? Then when I went to the dining room, all I saw was a bunch of different different types of food. As Issei had a towel on his on his shoulder and said, Well, dinner is served. Hope you like it. Giving them a smile. As you, Shinawa, and Luna sat down on the table and started to eat. And started to try the food that Issei made. That Issei made, as as they both were shocked. This food tasted so much better than than both of both of them cooking in the same time. As uh, Shinawa and you asked, "When did you get so good at cooking?" As you as Issei said, first of all, the speed that I gained from training with my staff and and me learning how to cook gave me a boost of learning learning things quick. And I can make different types of food. As Issei started to eat the food that he made for himself. So let's just say like last episode he was eating sushi. Mm, I like sushi so I'm just gonna say that. Uh, then a few moments later. When they were done eating. Issei's dad went to sleep. As... She knew, as Ize was washing the dishes, she knew I was going to help him, but Ize said, Don't worry, I'll get this done in a second. And she said, What do you mean in a second? Then Ize just said, Then Ize just said, Blink. As she blinked, everything was done. As he said, ah, It's really useful. It's really useful to have speed, right? <laughs> As Shinoa said, yeah, really useful. Giving him a look of jealousy. <laughs> and Issei said, weren't you much faster than me in your younger days? Then, then Shinoa said, yes, I was, but still, dang, dude. I feel like you shouldn't be that fast. And Issei said, my father's a demon. My mother's a half human. Combine those two together, and what am I? A demi demi feed or a demi god or something like that. But am I already? If I already lose full humanity, I'll become like him. What's the point? As soon as I say, yeah, you're you're right. Then Luna came in and said, "Big brother." As she hugged his leg and said, "Hey, Luna, what what do you need?" As Luna said, Can Big Brother wake up, Papa? As Issei said, Oh, you want to wake him up, huh? As he put a devilish grin on his face. Then Shinoa saw this and said, Are you are you thinking of something you're not meant to do at this age? As Issei said, Not quite. I am going to wake up that old man with the scare of his life. As Issei... As Issei grabbed the sword, put it uh, and said, full power, 25%. And, and pointed at uh, uh, his father's neck. As when it touched his father's neck, it electrified him. And then he, then he woke up with no fear. As, he, as, Issei, as Issei's father said, wait, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? What? How what happened? Huh? Huh? As he's laughing, said, "Dang, my dang man, dang man, you're you are supposed to not be that that scared of me." Uh, then you looked at Isa as he saw Luna laughing, as she know I was laughing too, as. As a few moments later, Issei just deactivated his sword and put it back on the sheath. As then, then you said, hey, is that my sword? Then she didn't want to speak to him and said, yep, it is your sword. Well, that's the point. You don't use it. You use those swords, salt spears of yours. And... Then, uh, then you said, 
But still, I could use my I can use my sword. And Issei said, "Nope, I'm keeping it." And then you said, "Fine, keep it." Then you, you then Luna said, "Luna wants Luna wants a sword." And Shinoma said, "Luna, you're too young to have a sword." As as Issei laugh at her and said, Maybe when you're older you might as well get one if mom lets you. When she, she know what her her him say mom she wanted to cry but she just held back his tears held back her tears. Then you said, Well are you ready to go train? Then you say said, Always oh, so where we go? Then you smirked at Shinoa. And Shinoa looked at him and started to twist her, her head side to side, say no, don't take him there. Then you said, nope, I am. Then Issei looked at them and said, what are you guys fighting about? Then Issei said, I'm taking you somewhere. Then Issei just followed his father and Shinoa and Luna were following them. They got to... They got to the place. In this place, this is where all the seraphs, all the vampire teams, squads, leaders, everything were there. Since they didn't know who Issei was, he decided you decided to bring Issei here. Since they didn't know who was Issei, they were gonna try to kill him. Uh, but they just decided to watch because they think that you was gonna exterminate him with his vampire with his form. So they just watch as Issei was looking at his father and said, why are they looking at me like that? Then, Issei, then his father said, don't worry, just fight. As Issei's father made a sword of his soul as he started to attack Issei. Issei and him went a uh, uh, 100% of their powers. As Issei just used one attack to attack his father. As they disappear in, in thin air, Shinoa couldn't follow their footsteps. As Luna said, Mama, where did Papa and Big Brother go? As Shinoa said, Big Brother and Papa are training. Let's just see what happens. Shinoa was worried in her hair. She was like going, saying, I just got my son back and now I had to lose him again. I would be the same, but eesh. Then, uh, a few minutes later, Shinoa saw something flying to the ground as a big, a huge hole, bigger than a volcano, appeared in the ground, making Shinoa worry as she saw you holding a spear in his full, in his, at his full power as the sword went, as the spear went straight to Issei's, at the same spot where you got striker to unlock his trumpet it got it hit Issei as Issei was was he was going unconscious from losing the blood from losing blood as he as he then woke up in his mindscape just just looking around as he saw the soul king and said this is time for me to say goodbye. Me and you are finally becoming one. So this is goodbye, kid. Then Issei just nodded at him and said, Goodbye, kid. It, it was nice finally. It's nice finally becoming one. Then the, the Soul King smiled at him and said, Goodbye. As Issei grabbed the trumpet and blew on it. As all of a sudden, she knew I was yelling at you, saying, Why would you kill him? He's her son. Why would you do that? Why would you do this? Then you said, just wait, Shinoa. As suddenly they heard, they saw rocks started to flow, flow up to the sky. They started to turn into white little pebbles. As Issei came out with the same type of wings like his father. So it's technically the same type of wings as his father. But instead of them being black, they're... Hmm. A combination of, uh, a 
combination of mm, they're white just imagine white a white wings on his back the same way as his father and his eyes instead of going from the same staying the same color they went white and the outer black part of his father stayed black too just as the the big circle this big circle over here of his eyes went fully white so then Issei got out of the hole breaking all the rocks as all the people that were watching saw you was tired and couldn't defend his family then you then she no say you stop them they're going to go kill him then then you said let them i want to see what Issei can do to them but then she said Issei's going to kill them then she then you said he's not dumb enough to kill people for no reason and she know what was couldn't answer back to that so then you said just keep watching as when so yeah isuku was got up and started walking towards his towards his father and in the same direction where his sister and his mom was at as isuku kept walking and walking and walking as he kept walking everything on his way was destroyed it was like an aura was destroying everything in his way as a few vampires and and vampire extermination unit were were attacking Ise. they had a they all had a curse curse and chapman equipment so they want they were about to slash at Ise. but each but Ise just disappear and reappear in the same spot with his sword in his hand and he kept walking as when they all look their swords were in the ground the vampire swords were broken no they weren't broken i don't want to break them uh i want to sleep them away let's just say their vampire swords he sent them into a wall where where they couldn't where they couldn't go because they needed to defend the unit as Ise kept walking, another group of vampires try to attack him. Ise just disappear and reappear. As when everyone was looking, almost one by one, all the vampires that were working together went were knocked out. Then another unit of Cursic Chapman equipment came forward, try to attack Ise. Ise just made a salt spear. No, he just made a giant salt wave. Making them all be knocked out with the soul. Or pushing them away. Then Ise kept walking. And walking. As then all the seraphs seraph that were in the group protecting the guarding the city. Decided to go help. As they all try to attack you. And in this one if you break it. If you destroy the seraphs wings. They won't die. They'll just lose their form and they'll have to wait. At least, mm, they'll have to wait at least an hour to go back to that form. But if they, if they undo the form on their own, they'll only have to wait a minute. But if somebody cuts your wings, good luck. As Issei just made a salt spear, went up to the sky, making all the seraphs or angels and demons come after him. As Issei just stand up at the lie making himself look like an angel as he just started to attack them as all of them were coming straight at him he threw one light one salt spear at uh, all of them making making their wings get cut because of the salt the salt was strong enough to cut all their wings as they all went falling to the ground you see disappear and reappear putting all the stars that were that were knocked out of using their form on the ground as he kept walking towards his mom and dad then another army came towards them as he just sighed he did another soul spear went up to the sky threw it at them pushing them all away and destroying the tank making it into salt by touching it and imposing energy as he kept walking and walking walking and walking then when he reached his father and mother and sister his sister said big brother as she went and hugged him but it was a few minutes before he before he say could say anything because he was just attacked how was he going to say anything 
then Issei grabbed her and I and made a small knife dagger on her on on his on her on his on his hand almost like pointing at her neck she you know what was like he's gonna kill her then Issei just made it into a little toy and said hey mom hi dad what's up then she know I was dumbfounded and was like did did you just did you just you explanation please then you explained that Issei was just faking he was just acting like that to come towards us in his Sarah form for the first time as she as you as Shinoa decided to uh, to yell at Issei then Issei said okay you can yell at me I'll take the punishment then then Issei gave the little toy that he made from his salt to to his sister as she started to play with it and Issei said look at this he snapped he made it into a tiger he snapped again, it turned into a into a dolphin, then he snapped again an elephant, and then he snapped one more time and made it into a back to the toy that she that he gave her. And the salt will only will only disappear when Issei wants it to. So that toy is for her for infinite amount of times, so it won't get broken. Then Issei looked at his father and said. So now that I have my form, I want a question. He activated the soul. He made a soul spear and pointed at his father and said, Why in the heaven wouldn't you tell me that these people don't know I'm your son? As the hope, everybody that was attacking him heard that he was the son of you. And they all looked at you with, with a look saying, You gotta be kidding, right? This is your son, and you just made us attack him. Then you said, "I'm sorry, everyone. I had to, I had to test this ability some way. This kid is more powerful than me. So what's the point of me not testing his power play the way that I wanted to?" Then everyone just shrugged it off and said, "Well, you, your long. Oh, have you guys heard that? I'm sorry. Your long missing son is finally back, right?" Then all the seraphs that were Knocked out, wake, woke up, and heard that he was the son of you. As they all looked at you and said, You, you goddamn, you goddamn bastard. Why didn't you say it? As you said, What's the point of having abilities without an army attacking you? I had to re react the same things that happened to me when I unlocked my abilities. Think. <laughs> <laughs> then everyone went a bit angry, but they understood that he wanted to recopy what happened to himself. Uh, then Issei introduced himself. I am Issei, the son of you and Shinoa. Then everyone just bowed down to Issei and said, Well, then everyone bowed down to Issei and said, we're, We are sorry. We didn't know you were the son of the... Legendary Seraph, as Issei said, Legendary Seraph, my <laughs> Legendary Seraph, my face. This old man couldn't even beat me. Then he, you said, Hey, I couldn't be, I can't beat you. Then Issei said, You could beat me a minute ago now that I have my Seraph form. What's the point of even wasting it? Then, then you said, Good point. I do not want to die. <laughs> Then Shino watches face palm herself and said, "Ah, my father and son, these both these, these two are gonna be such a pain when it comes to fighting." <laughs> well, then Shino said, "Well, now we don't need a now we don't need an army. We literally got a one man army here." Uh, putting in her her hand on Issei's shoulder, her shoulder just smiled at her and said, "Yep, mom." So this is where I'm going to be leaving it off. This was part three of what if Issei was the king of salt. So like I said in the beginning, be expecting part two of Neglected. Maybe the Gojo part three. And be expecting one more, one more new. No, there's four things. One more news. What if and... The trunks. Then I'll be making part three 
part three of Trunks two. So first, be expecting the three that I'm gonna say. Uh, neglected, co mm, trunks, and a new what if. If I forget to do the, the trunks, I'll make the what if the new what if longer. I promise. So thank you guys for watching. This was Phantom Duels here, and bye.